Well, if there's one thing that the French are consistent at, it's striking. Today's been an absolute nightmare in Paris. However, they return to the rugby field tomorrow night when they take on the Argentinians in the bronze medal match. And it's with that game that we concern ourselves first on the programme as we went back down to rugby town on the Trocadero to chat to our legends about how they thought that was going to pan out. France, I think, will be very hard to beat. Home ground, uh, playing for pride. Argentina really woke up over. Not a lot left to, to play for. They've, uh, they've, they've stamped their mark on the tournament. They've been absolutely superb. They'd love to finish with a bang now, but I just uh, look at this French side and they'll be very, very disappointed in the way they played in the semi-final. Very disappointed to not have come through and be in the final. I think they'll go out there to try and you know, restore a little bit of pride and uh, finish off um, what has been a wonderful World Cup for them and their and the public support in style. Look, it's a, it's a really... Hard game to play, the third, fourth playoff. I've never played it, but uh, I, I think I think they should go in with an attitude. There's, there's really nothing to lose in that game, and they should go in with an attitude, just run the ball and play a free and open game. And if they do that, the crowd will get something out of it. They'll get something out of it, and really the result doesn't matter too much. They've got to go out there to play, to to entertain. And who do you think is going to come out for it? I think probably France will, but Argentina always beat France, so I don't know. <laughs> well, enough about the bronze medal match. Now we return to the main event, England against South Africa on Saturday evening. And fans and players alike have been offering their latest thoughts on the two teams, which of course have been announced now. The South Africans unchanged from the side that took on Argentina in the semi-finals. England with one alteration, Mark Cueto in on the wing to replace the injured Josh Lucy. Well, it's going to be a tough match. It'll be a very tough match, but uh, South Africa have got discipline. South Africa have got a, a team that's been preparing for four years for this. We're ready for the English. The coach's tactics are really going to play an important part. I think England, if I was England coach, I'd be maybe suggesting a niggly game because South Africa tend to react to that. They have a few players that can react to that. And in the pressure of a final, they're more likely to react than not. From Jake White's point of view, I'd be, hey, Stay calm at all cost. Do not give away free points. Do not give away penalties, field decision. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's um, probably they'd be plan A, B, and C's for both coaches, on, depending on which what the other team adapts. Well, I think it's a forward game, isn't it? I think we've got to be physical in the contact situation. We'll have to be good in the scrum. England have scrummed superbly. We've not, on the contrary, scrummed all that well so far in this tournament. So uh, the scrum will be vital, and then at the breakdown, if we can contest the breakdown, put England under a bit of pressure, stop Johnny Wilkinson from kicking drop goals, and most importantly, discipline. We can't give away loads of penalties because Johnny will punish us. England will be apprehensive to a degree because they've played a very good South Africa side, but they've got, in some ways, nothing to lose either because they've, they've got here from, from nowhere, from the depths, really. So I think both teams will just kind of give it a go. I think there'll be a little bit of caution on both sides, particularly early. Uh, and I think it will go into that 60 minute mark. Okay, you have to one of the two? I think, I think we can do it, you know, we can do it. Uh, England can win, South Africa can also win. Maybe they can win in more ways than we can, but I think in a World Cup final, we'll just pull it off. Thank you, I, I think Johnny Wilkinson gives them a lot of confidence and he's a great player. So we'll have to look after him and make sure we minimize his impact on the game. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they've got a very good uh, forward line. They're very, very strong in the scrum. But uh, I do think that uh, they are at their peak, they've stretched themselves to the limit and they can't go beyond the next step, which is South Africa. Discipline from our side, we need to be very careful of giving away penalties in our half because Johnny Wilkinson will punish us, but I think that we will control our discipline and uh, that's going to be very important. I also want to comment on the referee, I think the referee is going to play a very important role in this match, he's a Northern Hemisphere referee, uh, he's got a big role to play. So both sets of fans confident in their own particular ways. All that remains for me to say is best of luck to both teams. Let's just hear one last word from a group of Springbok and English fans on what they think the final score is going to be. 24-12, South Africa. What is your score? 18-6, England. 21-10, England. 29-22, South Africa. 40 de Priya is going to win the game for us. The scrum off. 
15, South Africa. 18 to 12, South Africa. 9-6, South Africa. Whoa.